Hey, it's Ray. Welcome back to another video. We're doing At the Other Table today, a show where it kind of feels like you're listening to the table next to you. You get to listen in on our conversation, and I have Erica here again. Hello, Erica. Hello. I actually really like that name. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I, like I came that. up with it the other day. That's nice. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to start doing it. All right, so you have no idea what we're talking about yet. Okay, so I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind for about a week now. Um, so I'm not in the YouTube drama community, but I watch this YouTuber. Her name is Shannon, and her her channel is called Creep Show Art. Or it was called Creep Show Art. So, this is from the perspective of somebody that watched her casually. Um, so, what happened was she does, she was doing drama videos. So, she did drama community videos. And she had lots of friends in the drama community and she was getting on this anonymous website. She was getting on this anonymous website where if you break their rules, they will take away the anonymity and they'll, they'll out you. And she was getting on this site called LOL Cow, LOL Cow, okay. where she was talking badly about her friends that were also part of the YouTube community she was in. Mm -hmm. She was saying awful things about them. She was trying to drum up business for herself by talking badly about her and sometimes talking well about herself, just trying to get people to go see her, her videos. Um, she doxed her sibling. Um, I don't know a lot about that part. And then it turned out that she had been stalking this girl. What the hell? Yeah, so it was this huge, this huge thing. And here's the thing. So here's why I wanted to talk about it. Cause I just summed it up. Cause I've I've been watching hours of videos on it's this. It's like she it's... said, "How many horrible things can I do?" Yeah. And then just did all of them. Yeah. So here's the thing about Shannon. She always came off as someone who took responsibility for her actions, and she always came off as somebody who would apologize if she was in the wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's been about two weeks. No apology. No apology. No one has heard anything from her. Her videos are being deleted. I think she deleted her Twitter. Um, and part of the reason why it bothers me so much and the reason I wanted to discuss it is because I identified with her mm -hmm. a lot. Um, her and I talk a similar way when I'm really relaxed. I talk really similarly to the way that she talks. And she said a lot of things that reminded me of myself. Like she used to be homeless and mm -hmm. I used to be homeless, but then it turns out that she was homeless by choice. And that's a whole, that's part of the controversy. Um... Because people who were really homeless uh, feel like she'd been lying. She chose that, and we didn't. And so it's become this huge, this huge controversy in this particular community that yeah. I'm hardly a part of. Like, I listened to her videos and almost never knew who she was talking about. At one point, she, okay, so she did, she did art in the background, mm -hmm. and she drew me at one point. And, oh. she, and she used the footage of her drawing me in one of her videos. And it's actually kind of funny because uh, the video is about somebody named Ray. And I don't know mm. if she did that on purpose, but like she was talking badly about somebody named Ray. Spelt the same way and everything. Oh. Which at the time I thought was just a coincidence. Um, a coincidence. But now I kind of wonder if it was done on purpose. But anyway, so I really identified a lot with her. And so when all of this came out, my my first thought was, is that something that I would do? And it took me a couple of days before I was like, no, no, I would never do stuff like that. I don't, from, now we are just co-workers, and, but I don't, I don't see any of that in you. No, and I don't think, I don't think I have it in me to be that way, but it was just like I said, I, I identified with her so much that it really hit me wrong. Yeah. And, like, I'm, I'm waiting for her to come back and, apo and apologize because she could. Her reputation would just be trash. Well, it's already trash. Well, no, it's, it's trash. I just mean if yeah. she comes back, yeah, her reputation's going to continue to be trash. Um, I mean, she, I feel like she theoretically could come back and apologize and 
But I wanted to see what you thought about all of that because it is some really dramatic. Yeah, that's like, that's horrible. <laughs> I don't know how else, like just her actions are just like, I can't fathom it. Like, what? I can't imagine being obsessed with somebody that you'd stalk them for, it was something like 10 years, eight years, 10 years, something like that for a long time. I can't imagine doxing your sibling. Yeah. I'm not really sure what that was about. That part's fuzzy for me. I tried to figure it out, but I don't really... I guess they don't really get along, but she didn't do it as herself. She did it, but she was doing it anonymously. Mm -hmm. And then I guess that was that was what made them revoke the anonymity, was her docs and her yeah. sister, and then they were just like, okay, well, we're going to find out whose IP address this is, because you're not supposed to do that. And it found they found out that it was Shannon making all these posts, bad-mouthing her friends, and... Well, I have no idea who this person is. No. Never heard of them at all. I've talked. I talked to her briefly over email, but I can't imagine that she like knows who I am. Yeah. So, I don't know like how she came off in a video or like anything like that. I could show you some of her videos, but she comes off really similarly to the way that I do when I'm not being censored. Mm -hmm. So just real colorful. Yeah. Um. Kind of has an attitude, you know. Well, you don't, I don't, it's not a bad attitude, but I kind of have that, that like, I don't know how to describe it. It wasn't that she had a necessary, I'm sure some people would agree with, would disagree. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sure some people would disagree with me, but she does, she didn't necessarily have like a bad attitude, but she had the kind of, I know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. kind of attitude. Kind of like a uh, brash and just like in your face maybe? A little bit. A little bit. Because I'm trying to, because I do watch, I think it's one drama YouTuber and I never know, almost never know who he's talking about. He does only talk about black people though so you probably wouldn't know him either probably not i know him but it's like every once in a while he'll mention like an actual celebrity but a lot of times it's like youtubers and instagrammers and i don't really know them i just like his personality yeah so i'm trying to imagine if i found out that he was a completely different way than the way he actually presents himself yeah that's a really good example and it's mm -hmm. i can't like i wouldn't i wouldn't say heartbroken but it would like really well, it was kind of like when Derek Jackson got outed. Yeah. It's okay. kind of like that, where we expected him to be a certain way, and it just turned out that he wasn't. Yeah. So people present a different personality online than they are, like, in real life. And then sometimes sometimes you watch a lot of, the, a lot of their videos, and you think that you're getting to know them yes, on, like, a weird level. Yes, it's very easy to do that. Like, It's really easy to... to trick yourself into thinking that you're friends with these people well like for example my kids well more just my son he watches uh youtube and there was one point where he was watching this certain youtuber i can't remember i think it was dennis something and it was like a year and a half ago he's like mom this is my friend and i'm like no it's not yeah but trying to explain that to a child and that's well, and I had spoken to Shannon mm -hmm. because she had done art for me twice. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know. She, the way that she spoke with me was very much as if she knew me. Um, as if like she knew that I had been subscribed to her mm -hmm. and that I'd been around for a minute and stuff like that. And I had been and she was right. But I wonder how sincere that even was. And she was like super friendly and super nice and asked me if it was okay if she used the footage of her drawing me in her video. Yeah. And Do so I think, think that's she part did of that the... with everybody that contacted her, like everybody she emailed maybe. Like well, it was she, just her. She had done a video or two of like weird emails, like mm -hmm. weird things people sent her. So I don't know how she spoke with them, but I suspect that she probably spoke very similarly uh, to the way that she spoke with me, with other people that reached out to her for, yeah. for art and whatnot. Because there are people that are, I don't want to say charismatic, but they, they have a way of making people feel comfortable with them. Well, I think there's a whole group of people that really identified with Shannon mm -hmm. and 
we were not expecting this. And there's a whole other group of people that say that they're not surprised, you know? So, and no one's really talking about the group that's like just waiting for her to come back and apologize. Cause I've been checking YouTube, like, mm -hmm. has she said anything yet? Is she going to say something? There's a thing going on right now where some people think that this podcaster sounds like her, but I disagree. I don't, I don't think it sounds like the same person. I don't think it's her. Would you, I struggle to say accept because she wouldn't actually be apologizing to you? Well, she'd be apologizing to us, like, as a whole. I don't, the community. Mm. She, it wouldn't be directly to me, no. And I'm, I'm well, not, because still in my mind, the apology, the apologize, the apology would go towards the people that she actually, like, I don't know if she hurt them or, like, like her friends that she was talking about, her sister, or the person she was stalking. Yeah, so it was, it's her, so she calls him her husband, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to assume they're married, but there's some, people aren't really sure, but it's her husband's ex-girlfriend. Ugh, that poor lady. <laughs> I, who is also a YouTuber. Okay, you know how I can relate to this. Okay, there is a TikToker slash Instagrammer named Tabitha Brown. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever heard of her. No. And she's kind of like, she has the persona of, um, she's just a very, very sweet person. Like, I've seen... Did something happen? No. Like, oh. somebody said something about her husband. She, like, responded. But she, even her response was, like, the nicest way to talk bad about somebody, right? Eugenia Cooney is like that. Do you know who that is? No. This is really problematic YouTuber. She has an eating disorder and she's super skinny, like skin I and bone skinny. I feel like I've skinny. seen a picture of her. And she does like clothing hauls and she'll like put on outfits to show off her body. She's doing it on purpose. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> when I first found out about her, when I was first, like, cause I don't really watch her now. Now mm -hmm. I just check to see if she's alive. Like a lot of us do. But at first when I was first watching her, I didn't realize she was doing it on purpose. I thought that she just didn't know that she was she was delusional. Mm -hmm. And she's just super, super nice. But the longer you watch her, the more you realize it's an act. Mm -hmm. You know, she's doing it for attention and we need to stop giving her attention. But me even mentioning her in a video, like I'm part of the problem. Yeah. You know, um, which I don't mean to be, but. So, oh, I was saying about Tabitha Brown. Oh, I'm sorry. It would kind of be like if I found out that she was cursing everybody <laughs> out behind uh, the camera, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because she gives off, like, she has a very motherly vibe. And, like, I'm just, tr that's the way I can probably kind of relate to it. Like, if I found out, I would be very disappointed. Yeah. Because it's completely different from the person I've seen in every aspect I've seen. Like, I've seen behind the scenes stuff with her. I've seen multiple podcasts with her. Well, like, if I, okay, just for the example that I gave, if I found out that Eugenia Cooney... Uh, was rude, mm -hmm. you know, was a really rude person. Yeah. That would be weird. But Shannon, what happened with Shannon isn't that shocking. It's not that shocking. Really? But it isn't a little bit. I wasn't expecting it, personally. Because uh -huh. you just, you forget that you're putting on a, an act when you're on camera yeah. when you're when you're doing stuff like this and i tend to not like mine my content's pretty you me yeah yeah um i don't i don't really change my personality much i kind of change the way i talk a little bit like i'll do like kind of a lower register i'm not as loud mm -hmm. um i'm not as i'm not loud and energetic when i do my recordings but i'm normally not anyway but i can be yeah you know? but i make sure to be pretty calm when i do my recordings I just, how miserable that woman must actually be inside. So, so there's more to it than just that. So I summed it up. So not only was she stalking this, this woman, I can't think of her name because like I said, I'm not super into yeah. uh, that community, but she made a video, Shannon made a video about how she was being stalked by someone. I think she called her Amy, I think. And it was actually about Shannon being the stalker. And she worded it as if someone else had been stalking her. So the video was about how this girl, I think her name was Amy, I think, I could be wrong, 
whenever she would have a bad day or she uh -huh. was having a bad time, she would email Shannon and tear her apart, basically, and just cut her down. This was a video I watched, like, a long time ago, like, uh -huh. when she posted it. It was at least a year ago, if not longer. But I'm pretty sure it's been longer than that. Um, I remember watching that video, and then it turned out that she was talking about herself. And people think that the reason she was doing it was so that the person she was actually stalking uh -huh. couldn't out her. So that she could be like, oh, no, oh, no I'm talking I, about she... my video. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. But you... <sighs> Oh my god, you said it's not that shocking, so... Well, I don't know. It's just that she wasn't super polite. Mm -hmm. So we're using examples of people that are super polite yeah. and soft-spoken and kind. And it wasn't that she... Okay. It wasn't that she presented as a bad person. It wasn't that. She presented herself as a good person. But she is, was a little rough around the edges, yeah. you know? Um. So it wasn't like... Oh my god, I can't believe Shannon did this. It was more just like, well, wow. You know? Yeah. It, was, it wasn't like, oh my god, I can't believe I never would have seen it. It was just yeah. like, oh my god, I can't believe she would do that. Yeah, I, yeah. I see the... It's, it's a fair. different kind of surprise. Yeah. It wasn't... Yeah. It wasn't like out of the realm of possibility. It was just right. like, I still can't believe somebody would... Because this woman sounds absolutely she <laughs> absolutely sounds, nuts she sounds insane yeah yeah and, well and she talked about mental health awareness stuff so she has something going on as far as like anxiety and ptsd and stuff like that but still that's well i kind of wonder if um her mental health concerns are part of the problem if maybe she needs to be medicated because i'm medicated mm -hmm. so i'm certainly not trying to be like i'm not trying to act like i'm better than her or anything like that i don't think i am i mean maybe i am because i wouldn't like stalk somebody but i just like i keep saying i just identified with her so much that when everything came out i really had to sit back and and analyze it for a while like look inside yourself i had to i had to really look inside myself yeah and I'm wondering if other people feel that way. Like, I'm wondering if there are people listening to this right now mm -hmm. that are, you know, nodding and agreeing and and feel that too. Because I always assume, like, if I'm feeling it, other people must be. I'm sure there are some people that must be feeling that. I personally can't think of one that I identify with like that. I'm trying to think. The only other example I could think of was Derek Jackson, like I said, yeah. because it wasn't, like, world-ending shocking. Yeah. It but was... it was surprising. Yeah. Well, with him, it was more like, well, how would I put it? Because I didn't follow him. Yeah, it was more the hypocritical part, where it was just like, you're talking bad about all these other men, and you're, like, a trash yeah, or he person, was giving, too. he was giving um, relationship advice, and then it turned out he'd been cheating on his girlfriend. Or his wife, I mean. Yeah, his wife, like, the entire time. He was cheating on his wife the entire time. This entire time, he's been giving us relationship advice and how to talk to a man and how to get a man and stuff. But also, like you said, with... What's her name? Shannon. Shannon. Like, with him, I also wasn't, like, completely surprised because... At a certain point, I was like, I felt like he was just, um, like, what's the, catering to black women? Or, what's the word that I'm looking for? I don't know what it is, um, like, leaving my mind. Yeah, well, his his target audience. Yeah. His he, target audience seemed to be black women. It was definitely black women. But, but he tried to, you can tell he was kind of trying to make it vague so that it would resonate with yeah. more people than just black women yeah but he was definitely because i was taking some of what he was saying yeah okay maybe not just black. yeah for, to women especially because he would just like talk bad about men just in general i don't know that he was really talking bad about men but i understand what you're saying like I understand yeah what you're saying. but even he came out and had something to say about the controversy shannon hasn't said anything i guess there's this audio clip from her talking to a friend of hers mm -hmm about how she doesn't know how to deal with people that believe that she did this. Oh, so she's like, I, she didn't do it, maybe. She's, she was pretending that, she, that it wasn't her. So she was saying that the woman who's stalking her, mm -hmm. 
faked her IP address, but it couldn't, but she couldn't have because Shannon would move and the IP address would move with yeah. her. So it was consistent with Shannon. So it's more or less been proven that Shannon did this. So she can't deny it. So she's just not saying anything. She's just now. not saying anything. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> this out and there's this I don't know his name or anything there's like this random I think he was a YouTuber I don't know he did something where he got cancelled I'm using air quotes <laughs> right yeah well Shannon's been cancelled yeah more or less. so he yeah. got cancelled and then he randomly came back trying to be a different person <laughs> completely yeah and he was just pretending like and he um had like all these fake DMs like Oh, so and so, whatever his username at the time was, is gonna give me this account and I'm just gonna use it. It was like the most, and it's like you are clearly the same person. You like changed your hair, right? Well, and that's what people think are going on with this podcast. Yeah. There's this, yeah, there's this girl that's doing podcasts and people think it sounds like Shannon. And I don't think it does. I think they're from the same area. And so, so maybe like it's a similar inflection yeah, tone and stuff. Their tone, their um, inflection, the yeah. accent, because we all have an accent. We I personally never, I don't know what a California accent is, but okay. I have a California accent. I don't know what California accent is. It's very Valley Girl-esque. I don't, I don't think we sound like Valley Girls. I know I do. I don't hear Valley Girl when you speak. I do. <laughs> you, I hear it. You really do? Yeah. I don't hear Valley Girl when you speak. Other people do. But I also feel like the whole but Valley Girl like, accent is like super, super... Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like, uh, and yeah I kind of sound like that a little. Uh, but most people in California do not sound or like that. Like, she would say stuff like, my dude. Mm -hmm. And I say stuff like that. So I say my guy. My guy. Yeah, like she would that. say that, too. I'm pretty sure she's from California. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I want to say, like, San Jose. Yeah. I was literally just saying my guy when I was driving because there was a person that was driving the actual speed limit. <laughs> we are in California. You do not drive the speed limit. <laughs> sorry <laughs> random thought anyway <laughs> <laughs> sorry but um so you think she's from, is she from california you just think she's from i'm california? pretty sure she's from california she moved out of state mm -hmm. but i'm pretty sure she's from california i remember when she was moving like i remember her making videos about it and that was around the time that she drew for me the second time because we mm -hmm. talked about it we talked about being homeless and her mm -hmm. moving and it being stressful does that the homeless part bother you as well i'm actually i don't take that personal so mm -hmm. there was one there was one video that i watched and this woman was talking about how she used to be homeless and she took it real personal to find out that that Shannon was homeless by choice but it doesn't really bother me like I understand why it's a problem and and why basically anything she has to say about it now is like not relevant because mm -hmm. you weren't really like you were homeless but like you were privileged now, and homeless like when you, know you say I mean? homeless by choice what does that mean exactly? so her and her husband decided that it was a better idea for them to live in their cars so that they could focus on their art mm -hmm. and they didn't have like bills to pay. So that's what they did. Okay. And so she got a gym membership so that she could shower uh -huh. and recommended to other people that they get gym memberships so they can shower. And that was met with like mixed reviews because mm -hmm. sometimes that's a good idea because there are places around here that are like $25 a month mm -hmm. but there's other places that are like hundreds of dollars yeah. a month so it just it really depends on where you are but she's talking about doing it around here around where where we are mm -hmm. so it's sound advice for like us but in general it's kind of not you know and and she chose that she didn't have to do any of that whereas like for me with me for example i didn't have a choice mm -hmm. i was homeless and that was that like i the reason that i'm not homeless anymore is because i was dating for hot meals like if i had been a man i probably would have been stuck homeless i'm hmm. lucky i was never homeless homeless like i was never on the street homeless but i did have unstable living conditions oh i was on the street where like i was sleeping on the floor like i was sleeping on somebody's sure, floor yeah. for a while and like 
Oddly no. enough, it was my grandpa that I was, <laughs> evicted us. It was, I was sleeping outside. Yeah. And stuff like that. So, um, so I just didn't have my actual own place I could call a home, but I also was like very privileged that I was not out on the street. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And yeah, I'm kind of trying to wrap my head around people taking that personally. I suppose I can see where that's coming from. I just don't feel that way. I like I said, I never was actually homeless, but I don't understand taking that personally myself because why is that a big issue? Well, I suppose, because I'm trying to see it from their perspective. Yeah. Um, she lied. You well, know? yeah, but she lied about just about everything. It's, she. Well, yeah, well, and the, all of that's a problem as well. Yeah. It sounds like she's just, honestly, like a narcissistic it does sound like narcissism you're right yeah i just yeah it sounds like narcissism i'm not qualified to pass that kind yeah. of judgment but and i say that in the most layman of terms not actual like no not I, that she's obsessed with herself but yeah like, like i don't know the actual clinical way to if you'd ever been raised somebody. by a narcissist you know you know what we're trying to say mm-hmm. but yeah where she's just always worming her way out of and Situation. She's taking victimhood to a whole nother level as well. I really feel like if she just came out and apologized, like I said, yeah, her reputation would be garbage, but like she could probably continue to make videos and continue to make money if that's what she really wants to do. Because at one point it came out that she was pretty much only doing this for money. So that being said, I kind of wonder if she's somewhat relieved. For it to come out? Yeah, that she doesn't have to do this anymore. Because she was talking about how... At one point, she wanted to quit YouTube and she was starting to hate it because it was only about her trying to make money. So there were times where she would put out like three videos in a day. Hmm. So I'm so now, and I didn't think of it till now till we're talking about it, which mm -hmm. is kind of part of the point of even doing this. I kind of wonder if the reason she hasn't came out to say anything is because she's relieved that it's over. I feel like even if she was relieved, she would have something to say though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, because she, she's messed up so bad. Uh -huh. She has to be embarrassed. There's no way she's not embarrassed. I'm sure she's um, embarrassed, and she might be panicking because even if she was speaking about quitting YouTube, there are a lot of YouTubers that say that they want to quit, but they don't because of the money, honestly. And she could be, like, maybe a little panicked because this is her... Well, a I'm, source of income for her. I'm pretty honest and open about the fact that I'd like to make money doing yeah. this. Um, I'd like to eventually be able to have this as a job. That'd be really cool. Yeah. If I don't, I might do it for a hobby for a while. Yeah. We'll see. I'm mostly just doing things that I really enjoy doing. And, and I think that's like, that's the key to it is you just do stuff that you enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. I wish she would say something though. I wish she would come out and say anything anything even if it was even if it was garbage yeah i still like feel like she should she should say something i would say something and you said it's been two weeks it's been about two weeks yeah and was, i've been thinking about it for would. about a week because i didn't know about it right away because i don't have my notifications turned on mm -hmm. i don't like notifications going into my Me phone either. my phone just blows up and i hate it so i just have everything turned off but I'm subscribed to her. Yeah. Yeah, she tried to say that she was hacked. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she, yeah, she, I guess she told her friends that she was hacked mm -hmm. and that her IP address was faked because she has friends with popular YouTubers that have came out and made videos about this. So. So they had, you know, stuff to say about behind the scenes. That's how I know any of this. Another way of making herself the victim. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, victim mentality. Absolutely. I don't think she's going to say anything. It's really too bad. Like, it's really unfortunate. And what's funny, too, is, like, I started to not enjoy her content as much. So I've uh -huh. been watching her for a couple of years. I was watching her in the beginning when she was doing story time videos. Uh -huh. And I started, I continued to watch her when she started, um doing drama videos. Even though I almost never knew who she was talking yeah. about or why. Because I'm not part of that community. 
But I still listened to her anyway because I, I guess I liked the sound of her voice. I liked what she had to say. And her personality, like I said, the guy that um, does a drama that I follow, I very rarely know who he is talking about. But he has a very, very like exuberant personality right, and I really exactly. like him. And every so, once in a while she'd cover something I, I knew something yeah. about. Like she had talked about um, uh, Jeffree Star and oh, I hate James Charles so I hate him too <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a strong opinion about them I, well maybe hate just from... I I know I know about them because they're like a big deal on YouTube so I do use hate very frequently like... and then she started talking about sexy vegan do you know about sexy vegan no is this man that, that was on a Dr. Phil episode and he changed his name to Sexy Vegan and he's got like blue face tattoos and he's just really weird. He's just really, really weird. And she talked about him at one point, which I enjoyed because I, I knew who that was, Yeah, you know? Um, but for the most part, like even, even the guy that she's mentioning in the video where she's drawing me, I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. And I watched it anyway, especially cause like she's drawing yeah. me. It was when I had my side cut. So... It doesn't really look like me anymore, but yeah, she said she liked my haircut. Like we talked. Yeah. But like I said, I can't imagine that she really remembers that I exist, you know? Do you remember like how many um, subscribers or whatever she like? Uh, She's to... so she had 500,000 and now it's something like 300,000. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's, there's a, there's a live feed oh, yeah they do that <laughs> there's a live feed of her of her subscribers mm -hmm. going down and it's like a, a live chat and stuff and they've pretty much stopped talking about her now they're just they just say weird things in the chat but when this was first going on a lot of people had a lot to say i feel like she's just trying to wait it out she might be waiting it out you know and this this video is a little late you know, I was yeah. I was kind of waiting to like, see, see if, if anything says, happened. Yeah. I wanted to see if anything was going to happen. And I was waiting to see how I felt about the situation because I, I felt a way about this because I identified with her so much. Yeah. It was, it's interesting the way you said that you questioned yourself. Yeah. Like I had to stop and think about like, is that me? Because she would talk and I did the whole time I'd just be like me mm -hmm. like you know it just really reminded me of myself and so when this happened I was just like is that something I would do and uh no no I can't I can't imagine that I would do something like that I feel like I would say what I really think if yeah. I knew I was going to be anonymous but I wouldn't be like doxing people or trying to get business for myself because I want to know that I made it on my own yeah, well, being anonymous on the internet is, like, really, <sighs> I think it's, like, the worst thing possible. I definitely wouldn't be stalking anybody. I don't think I have the energy. Where do you find, <laughs> where do you find the time to be obsessed with someone? To be to so obsessed with yeah. somebody because, like, I'm... I enjoy having relationships and it's not like I don't get obsessed with people, but to be obsessed with <sighs> someone's ex as well. That's... I feel like I've, I mean, I've stalked an ex, a friend or a boyfriend's ex. I've like gone on their Facebook and looked at their stuff, but I never, I never, I've never like, done that. I've done that. I think like twice. Granted, I've only had a few boyfriends. I will say that. I think I don't, like, I, don't I think like twice, but I never harassed them messaged them yeah. none of that like as far as i know they don't even know i was on their facebook you know like i'm just yeah. looking because i have problems i'm working through i have gone on my i hate saying baby daddy my I don't son's really care for father's it either. <laughs> <laughs> current girlfriend's page but that was because i knew that she was talking bad about me at some point oh no like um and it wasn't on her page as far as i know but it was like i would hear what she would say to him no like the uh the the exes of the boyfriends they mm -hmm. they probably don't know i exist yeah you know and i certainly wasn't trying to make sure they knew i existed um i've stopped all that though i haven't done that in in 
forever. Yeah. It was more like I knew she felt a way about me. So yeah. I was going to make sure that she was not talking bad about me on the internet because that's the part where I'm like, I'm going to have to draw a line here. I'm trying to... It's very hard because I don't actually know her. I wish I knew her or had seen some videos of her. So I kind of knew her personality. I purposely made sure that you had no I idea. I know. <laughs> you were just like, we're going to talk about internet drama. And I'm like, who's, who, who's drama yeah, is it? <laughs> I just wanted it to be a raw take. Yeah. Cause, you know? But I honestly don't think she's going to say anything. I think she's going to wait it out because people have short memories. You want to watch some videos and then maybe do a little bit more of this? Yeah, we can do okay. that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, after watching her content for three minutes, what do you think? <laughs> I see what you mean when you say that you related to her and that maybe you saw yourself in her a little bit. Yeah. Because um, I wouldn't say it's the personality, but uh, the way you speak. Exactly. Yeah, I can see that. Exactly. I understand what you mean by that now. It's... <sighs> She wasn't rude, rude. No, and that's what I'm saying. Like she was just very matter of fact. Yeah. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's no. There's something wrong with her. But there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, she puzzles me. Yeah, it's, I know. No, I know. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. Also, it was interesting when she said the sponsor. Have the sponsor said anything? Like, have they. No, I don't think her they care. Like I don't. So when we watched the video, she did uh, a sponsor. I wasn't listening to who it was because I skipped over it. I always um, skip sponsors. I always skip <laughs> sponsors. As far as I know, no one has anything to say. I'd imagine that they have so many people they're sponsoring that they couldn't keep up anyway. Well, because when they sign the sponsorship deals, and this is just from what oh, I've no, noticed. You're right. They would drop the sponsor. Yeah, because mm. they have to. They have to do the video and. <laughs> they have to sp um, do the sponsorship in a video. So, like, they have a contract of how many videos they have to do. They have a contract of what they can say. Really? And every yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Because um, there's a YouTube, a few YouTubers that I um, follow, and they're very open about their sponsorships. I feel like I would be too, because I'm real open yeah. about my intentions and. Yeah, and they're very like open about their sponsorship, and they're mm -hmm. very open, like. We have to do this one at the first 15 minutes, and this one is the second 15 minutes, and this oh, is the third 15 minutes. Like, okay, I'll it's have to very... start watching them so that I can get an idea yeah. of how that even works. And so, I still skip over them, but, um, and then I have some that, um, there's one that I'm a Patreon member of, and they do a live, and you see, like... I'm mostly on YouTube watching, like, ASMR mm -hmm. and the news. Well, there's, like, one podcast that I watch, like pretty much every week and that's the one that is very very open about and about the sponsorships and like where they're placed so i know that they have to they have to um the sponsorship the video has to be approved by their sponsor yeah and it's like a whole thing where the sponsor is paying you to make a video yeah so if she has sponsors what's going on with that <laughs> I have no idea because she won't say anything. So So that's why I was asking like have the sponsors like said anything? That's have they a dropped really her or anything good like question. That? I wasn't even thinking about that. Because if she apologized and came back and she no longer has sponsors, I don't know. She could probably still get sponsored again. Well, she could still be paid by actual YouTube. And she could get sponsored again because like I said, people have very short memories. That's true, yeah. Like, Onision still has followers. Oh my god, that man. Not even getting into Onision. Yeah, That'd be a whole other video. I don't know a lot about him, but what I do know, I don't like, and what I've, like... No, he's awful. He's awful. Yeah, yeah. I... But my point is that he still has How? subscribers. They enjoy... I think I think some of them are hate-watching him, but they enjoy the drama, I'd imagine. There are people that enjoy following someone because other people don't like him. Yeah. Well, and he's a whole thing. Like, he's yeah. a, an act all on his own. So, I, I mean, I could see... I don't personally do this, but I could see watching him just for the the weird content. I don't know. He... Even before all that stuff came out last year, I didn't like him. Just, he rubbed me the wrong way. Well, the point is, if she came back, she'd still have a following. It just wouldn't be as large for a while but, if it ever gets back to where yeah, it was. Yeah, even... 
losing, I think you said she went from 500 to 3 something? She went, yeah. That's still a very, very high... She still has a lot of subscribers. Yes. That's what I'm saying. That's, That's what very... I'm saying. So she she could still, if she wanted to... But like I said earlier, what if she is just relieved that she doesn't have to do this anymore? I feel like she would come out and say something if that was the case, though. Or she could just let sleeping dogs lie. Because, well, I kind of feel like if she was just relieved, she would come out and say something, and then she would do the, I'm going to take a break away from the internet thing that everybody does. Oh, yeah. And then she would come back maybe in three months or whatever and say, you know, she have the, her whole apology Because it's only thing, been probably. like maybe two or three weeks. Yeah. So, so, yeah. I can see, like I said, I think she's just trying to wait it out, and then she'll, she might come back and just like do an update apology thing maybe i could see that being the case but i feel like if she was gonna leave she would come out and say something and then she'd say you know i'm taking a break i'm my mental health and you know what they all say well that certainly sounds like something that she would say yeah yeah well and here's the thing too and i just want to be completely honest like i said earlier i like to be clear about my intentions i would complete i would continue watching her Mm -hmm. but knowing knowing what she had done and so it would kind of be in the way that people watch on on i think really i think so i think it would be like because in the back of your head you're like you know i know what you did or whatever yeah. you know what i mean it just it it become interesting for a different reason i'll be honest i don't know well i'm not following her but i don't know if i was following her if i would continue I'm not, sure. I'm not sure because I liked her old content more uh -huh. and it seems to be a very popular opinion that her old content was better but she probably ran out of things to do like she probably because I used to do little story times in the middle of my videos and yeah. I stopped doing it because I ran out of stuff to say mm -hmm. you know so yeah I mean she started there for a minute she was doing Disney fact videos and I enjoyed those. Uh -huh. I enjoyed the stuff that wasn't about YouTube drama. I really enjoyed it a lot. I wish I wish she'd come back and just do stuff like that and Well maybe apologize. she will because she could just come back and rebrand as well. I just I really like her voice and I really like the way that she talks and that's why I would want to continue mm -hmm. watching her. Not because I think she's a good person or anything like that. She's obviously has some problems. You know what I can relate this to? I think you're more of a um art over the artist person yeah i can separate art from the artist so yeah. like i don't think I, I can't well i can yeah to a certain extent i can maybe like um i'm trying to think of music r kelly i don't listen to his music i can't separate from uh chris brown yeah but i can separate from michael jackson mm, that's interesting yeah and i don't know what that's about I, I don't know why. I would never send my kid to Michael Jackson's house. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I think he didn't do anything. I'm not saying I think he did. I'm not giving my opinion on that. Mm -hmm. But the point is, I was able to still enjoy his music and just not enjoy him as a person. Yeah. Another example, really, I don't like Elton John's music. I don't like Elton John as an artist, but I like him as a person. Oh. So that's a really good example, too. And, and yeah, I'm really good at separating them. But there are some examples that I can't separate, like Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Well, Chris Brown, I don't knowingly listen to his music, if that makes sense. Yeah, like, absolutely. I don't seek out his music at all. Mm -hmm. I don't have, like, I don't listen to his music on Spotify, nothing like that. But, like, he will, like, randomly come on the radio or maybe if I have Spotify on a shuffle mix or whatever. Sure. It'll yeah. come on. And I still, like before i think about it i'm enjoying the the sound of see, you know what i, I mean? could see doing that but i wouldn't seek out his music yeah so yeah. so i that's why i say to a certain certain extent because i try not to support people even in the slightest that i like just disagree I think, with i think if shannon came back and apologized mm -hmm. even if it wasn't a full apology even if it was insincere if she came back and apologized and started doing content that wasn't drama content, uh -huh. I'd probably be down to watch her. See, and if it, if I could feel that it was insincere, I, I'd like her even less. Yeah, I wouldn't suddenly think that she was a good person for coming yeah. back or anything like that. Um, it might even be entertaining if the 
if the apology was insincere. You know what I mean? And I kind yeah. of feel bad saying that because she has hurt people. But it's just a really bizarre situation. Well, have the people that she harmed said anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like the woman she was stalking. Uh -huh. That's how all this happened was she... She put out a video. So basically what happened was, just to reiterate, Shannon doxed her sibling, who is non-binary, yeah. and that's why I'm playing the pronoun okay. game, uh, as far as I understand, because I don't know these people. Um, Shannon doxed her sibling, uh, and so Lolcow decided uh, they'd had enough, uh -huh. and they outed her on the site. Okay. And then Emily, I think her name was Emily. Emily Artful, I think, found out and then posted a video called Shannon's Always Been This Way. Oh. And told the whole story from okay. what it looks like. And so other people came out and were saying, you know, I used to be friends with Shannon. Uh, her editor made a video. Um, so, yeah, there are everybody involved, as far as I know, has had something to say. Even her, her. Even her sibling has came out and said some stuff. Oh. Yeah, but sh as far as I know, and I could be wrong, but I've been looking, and mm -hmm. as far as I know, she hasn't said anything other than her saying to her friends, I don't know how to deal with anybody who thinks I did this. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I personally would be able to watch her again after that. I feel like I would watch her, like, what, what would you call that, like, like, um... Morbid curiosity. Maybe. I think maybe the f apology video I would watch if she came out with one. I realize watching her um, supports her, but yeah. like I wouldn't be part of like her Patreon or anything like that. I wouldn't do any of that. I probably wouldn't pay her for art again. Yeah. You know, like I wouldn't support her in that way, but I'm, I'm sure I would watch her still. Just like I said, just morbid curiosity. Yeah. Like I, like I said, I feel like maybe, like, the apology, but if it came off as insincere and I could just, because sometimes you can just feel it, you know? I don't think I'd be, I'd have to be like, I'm going to check out. I can't do that. Because, and maybe it's because I do have, I was raised by a narcissist. And I say that very lightly. Like I said, I'm not, I can't clinically At one diagnose point, anyone. I thought I had been raised by a narcissist and I'm still not really sure, but it's not super clear that I have been. So it's probably not fair for me to say Well, that. <laughs> like I said, I can't clinically diagnose anybody, but my version of a narcissist is like someone that's always the victim or the hero. Yeah. And I can't stand it. Yeah, my grandmother was kind of like that. That's what I'm talking about. Not, yeah. Not my mother, my grandmother. Yeah. That's how my mom is. Yeah, where like, so maybe that's why the way you've explained it, at least it comes off as kind of her, like, I'm the victim in everything. And Well, like you said, you know, I can separate the art from the artist yeah. and, and that's part of it too. If I couldn't do that, then no, I couldn't watch her. Absolutely not. Yeah, I don't. I, I would, I would feel sick watching her yeah, if I couldn't separate them. I can't like, okay. I'm just. There's this YouTube couple, and they've been married for, like, 17 years or something like that. They've been together for, like, 21. So like, some crazy. They met in, like, at 16, and they've been together ever since. And um, so I've been watching them for a couple of years. That's actually the one that I said I was his Patreon. Mm -hmm. And so I've been watching them a couple of years, and um, I relate very much to his wife. And so his wife kind of says stuff. Not quite the same way as I would say stuff, but... But similar. Similar, and, like, we have kind of the same thought process, if that makes sense. Similar cadence. Yes. Yeah. So... That's exactly it. Now I'm thinking it would be like... And she's a mom and everything, too. So it kind of be like if I found out that she was, like... I'm going to go on the deep end. Like, abusive towards her children. Cheating on her husband. That'd like be shocking. Yes, it'd be shocking, and it would make me think, like... If I relate to her so much, exactly. and I see myself in her, exactly. is she in me? 
Exactly. And that's, so, a, that's yeah. no, exactly. And that is exactly why I'm doing this. So it and, took me a minute to get there, yeah. but I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. And I've sat, I've been sitting with it for a week because I, I came in late. Yeah. Um, I don't constantly look her up. And then one day I did and there was all of these drama videos about yeah. her. And it kind of slapped me in the face. Like it was real sudden. Yeah. Um, cause it was just all this content about what an awful person she is mm -hmm. out of nowhere because I'm not part of the drama community. Yeah. So and I've been so sitting with this for like a week and there's a part of me that is a little sickened, you know? And yeah. Yeah. Well, honestly, it's a little sickening. Though. It's sickening. Yeah. No, it's sickening in general, but I just mean for that reason. Yeah. So I could, it took me a minute to get there, but now I see what you mean when you're like, you have to ask yourself. See, there we go. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And so, like... Would you continue watching her? I don't know if I could continue watching her. And, like, I, it's because I personally do have a problem separating the art from the artist because somehow, I see the art in the artist, if that makes somehow sense. Somehow I feel like... Now, don't get me wrong. It's still abuse what she did. But yeah. physical abuse feels different than her harassing somebody. Yeah. And it's still wrong. What she did is still wrong. And I'm not trying to say that it isn't or anything like that. Yeah. But physically abusing somebody while what she did is still abuse it's not the same yeah so so i'm not really sure if i found out that she was physically abusive because of my past i don't think i could watch her anymore i don't oh. think i could any longer just like the chris brown thing yeah i don't think i could separate the art from the artist anymore there is a line yeah and y y i could see how maybe she might have crossed it she might be towing the line for me, but she hadn't quite crossed it. And that's why I'm just like, you know, oh, I'd still watch her, but I don't trust her. So an apology I mean? would be enough for you. I don't, honestly, you're probably right where it needs to be sincere. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd probably laugh about it if it wasn't, because it's yeah. absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. The whole thing's ridiculous. Again, how do you find the time and the energy? And did you say it was for like 10 years? It was like eight or ten years, some crazy Why? number. Like I could be wrong because because I'm not looking at my phone right now because uh -huh. we're just having a conversation. But long time. It was a long time she stalked this girl. Like that's that's the the time frame is where I'm like, what? Why? I don't know. That's what I keep saying. How do you find the time and the energy? I can see finding the time. It's the energy to I put towards it. I can't see finding it. the time. Mm -mm. Well, because I feel like... I guess if it's as simple as sending a yeah. text message, which is pretty much what yeah. it was. So maybe you're right. It's maybe the you're energy right, to but, keep it going but for no, so I still long. wouldn't have the time because she's, she's renting space in my head at that point. I don't have the time for that. I feel like that it's the energy part. Yeah. Where it's like... A couple text messages, okay, you can fire for text messages in five seconds if you're quick, you know? From what I understand, it was emails, and again, could yeah. be wrong, but, uh, yeah, because that's what Shannon said was going on when she was talking about her stalker, quote-unquote. So we're assuming that her stalker was, so she was the stalker. from what it seems, and of course Shannon hasn't, like, yeah, hasn't clarified, clarified but how it seems is that she made this video making it about her instead of what the reality was which was she was yeah. the stalker so that emily couldn't out her yeah is how it comes off and that's how other people are saying it is yeah like i said i can definitely like i'm petty enough to find the time oh but yeah i you're, can't you're keep super it up. petty but, <laughs> but i'm i'm not petty <laughs> but i can't keep it going i'll for hold so a long. grudge for 10 minutes <laughs> i can hold a grudge for a while but I also don't put energy into it. That you makes have sense. to really, like, you have to, like, again, as I was just saying, yeah. you have to be physically abusive for for me to hold a grudge. Oh, no, I don't need that. No, I just don't. I just, I forgive people and... I didn't talk to my sister for about four years because she messed me over with a phone bill. And I was just like, I just won't talk to you. I mean, there's people I don't talk to, but again, it has to do with physical abuse. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but that was over the phone. But, and yeah. granted, it was a high, it, it was a lot going on with that. Well, if somebody was constantly doing something to me. Well, that was kind well, this is going into other territory, but it was like, it was kind of like, she screwed me over and then everybody was like, well, that's just the way she is. And I'm like, I'm tired of this stuff. 
Mm. Like, and so I just didn't I talk to her. I can see how maybe I'm doing that with Shannon. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, where well, I'm, I'm quick to forgive her because it's not happening yeah. to me. So I guess mm-hmm. I am, I can be super yeah. petty. Yeah. Well, I think she deserves to lose her followers. It's not like I'm over here like, no, you're a queen and you should yeah. come back and be a queen. Like, no. You're not no. defending her. I'm not defending her. She deserves to lose her followers. What she did is awful. Yeah. I'm not on her side. But at the same time, because I identified with her so much, like, I want to continue to watch her content. I want to. It's kind of like, give me a reason to support you still. Yeah, I want a reason to support her, yes. And I, again, I'm not going to support her with money. Yeah. I can't bring myself to do Even that Even the anymore. view is a, is a form of support, though, Well, she's honestly. gotten, she, it yeah. is, it, it is It's staying support. subscribed to her is a form of support. It is, it, you're right. Yeah. And, and she's making money off of that. But yeah. I don't want to give her more money. Like, I've paid her twice to draw me. I have art from yeah. her because I paid for it. Um, so she has gotten money from me. And that just would never happen again. Yeah. it's a very very weird and random situation that is it's very weird and it was very sudden and seemingly out of nowhere like i said i very much felt slapped in the face with this information and i've been sitting on it for a week yeah it kind of sounds like nobody had said anything about her up to that point either because when you say it was kind of like a shock thing Maybe. There, were there like rumors or anything there at all? were videos about how her content was getting worse or but about that... how she wasn't really um she wasn't really researching the way that she should but there was nothing that i ever saw about her personality yeah so that's not the same there was nothing i yeah. ever saw about that um just that she wasn't very good at researching her topics and so sometimes she would give out false information yeah. but i wasn't taking her content that seriously yeah. so it didn't bother me personally but i can see how that's an issue I can see that being an issue, but yeah. also I could see it being like, it's, come on, it's YouTube, like, It's shut just, up. yeah, and again, <laughs> I'm not part of the drama community, so yeah. my head's not it's there. It's just not important. Well, at least to me. I don't see that as being a big, like, if she was constantly, like, just completely lying out of her. Out of her butt? Yes. I'm trying <laughs> to censor myself for you. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure that Like, I can see that being I'm an sure issue, there's but... very many lies floating around, and... No, I mean about the drama that she was reporting on. I could see that being an issue if she was just, like, oh. completely making stuff up. But, like, everyone's just not researching completely. I, I doubt that she was intentionally making things yeah. up. Um, but, you know, maybe it's possible. Well, but... anything's possible because she doesn't clarify, she hasn't clarified anything, right. so... Honestly, she should come out because anybody can say anything at this point and people believe them because she hasn't said anything. That's true. Yeah, I could sit here and say that I had a relationship with her beyond a couple of emails. And, and yeah, like who would know? And people will make videos for views for nothing. Like they'll yeah. make up stuff. Like. That's true. All right. Well, I really appreciate you talking to me about this. I, I value your input. That was a wild story. <laughs> That was wild, right? That was a roller coaster. Yeah. How you feel? It was like I've never heard of this one. No, that's it was it my intention. Like completely different YouTubes. Yeah, like everybody has is a, a different, different yeah. is a different world. Yeah. So I'm just like, how is this going on? I've never heard anything about it. But okay. All right, hit the like button, leave a comment for me, subscribe. I'll see you next week, and goodbye forever.